all of those branches of math were discovered, invented before it occurred to anyone to take the average of numbers. Okay. Oh, interesting. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yes. That's weird. That is. That's weird when you think about it. So here are these numbers. You add them together, divide by the total. Somebody had to do that first. Okay. That didn't happen until, uh, when, when did I have late? 18th century, long after calculus. Newton had calculus in the bag, okay? Uh -huh. By the late 1600s, early 1700s. Calculus, people. And now someone later on says, hmm, let me sum these numbers together and divide and, and see if that means anything. Well, that's early statistics. Right. Mm -hmm. And there are books as late as the 1800s that believed... These are official math books that describe how you can influence the outcome of a certain set of probabilities because they believed that was the case because probability and statistics was not yet properly formulated as an authentic and bona fide branch of mathematics. Right. The point is, why is that so? How is it that people, we in our species can say, we need calculus? <laughs> And there's no probability. Okay, there must be some something absent in our brain wiring yep. that prevents us from thinking natively in this space.